It can be said that animal rights went for a six-year holiday during World War II. I could tell you depressing stories of animals in war, of how the Soviets trained dogs to blow themselves up beneath advancing German tanks, or how millions of mules and horses died or were injured hauling supplies and guns on battlefields all across the world. I could tell you lots of horrible things about animals in war, but I won't. Instead, I'll tell you something rather uplifting and a little bit funny. Animal mascots have been important figures in military history since time immemorial. Particular units have adopted certain animals and formed close bonds with them. There have been all sorts of beasts that have become mascots, and in World War II all sides used quite a menagerie, from Wojtek, the soldier bear, a Syrian brown bear adopted by a transport artillery supply company of the Polish army in Iran who would actually carry supplies and ammunition forward to the front lines during the Battle of Monte Cassino in Italy in 1944. Or how about Judy, the English pointer, mascot of British warship HMS Grasshopper, who followed the crew into a hellish imprisonment in a series of Japanese POW camps and often found food for the starving prisoners. Dogs, of course, were working animals during the war in many theatres and in many different roles. They served as guard dogs and rescue dogs, and quite often as mascots. One story I've recently come across will, I think, certainly put a smile on your face. The story of the para pups, a litter of boxer puppies that had been orphaned when their mother, an experienced para dog serving with the US Army's parachute troops, had been run over by a truck and killed. The paratroopers decided to train the puppies as mascots, and what better way to introduce them to their new job than in making a parachute jump from a C-47? And what safer place to make that inaugural jump than in the leg pocket of an American paratrooper? I think we can safely say that this wouldn't happen today. The little fellows don't know where they're going, but they're on their way. Here they go aboard a troop carrier for their first jump. And down they float to earth with never a whimper. Real parachutists, say the paratroopers, the highest flying pups in the army. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and share, and also visit my audiobook channel, War Stories with Mark Felton. You can also help to support both of my channels at PayPal and Patreon. Details in the description box below.